Hey everybody, KC here. So there's been a number of stories in the news lately. We've talked about them here on Morning Newsbeat about age gating, specifically about whether or not a kind of age gating policy should be set up for social media. So if you're not 16, 18 years old, whatever it happens to be, you can't get on various social media sites. I actually kind of think this is a good idea, but a different kind of age gating came up the other day on CNN. And they were they did a story about how some restaurants and bars are basically saying that if you're not at least 30 years of age, you can't get in. And, um, you know, basically what they don't want to do is they don't want to deal with people between the ages of 20 and 30 who uh, don't know how to hold their liquor, don't know how to behave in a restaurant or bar. They just don't want to deal with it. They don't want to let them in. This has created some controversy. Uh, in part because people will say, well, wait a minute, wait, wait, I can vote and I can join the military, but I can't come into your restaurant. And I think that's a kind of a legitimate thing to say. Um, the other kind of contra- controversy is some restaurants and bars are saying, well, listen, if you're a woman, you can come in when you're 30, but you have to wait till you're 35, for example, if you're a man. I kind of get that because let's face it, men mature a lot later than women do. Um, the interesting thing was, is that apparently this is not a problem in terms of discrimination. Uh, CNN says that the basically businesses generally have the right to set their own guidelines for service as long as it isn't on the basis of federally protected categories such as race or religion, uh, national origin or disability. Um, it's like no shirts, no shoes, uh, no service kind of thing. Um, which is, I find this a little bit distressing because maybe it's going to mean at some point restaurants are going to say, well, if you're 70 years or older, you can't get in. I kind of get that too, but I'm kind of hoping they don't do that. Um, it doesn't seem like such a good idea to me. Uh, listen, in some ways, the better approach as opposed to age gating, checking people's ID at the, ID at the door, to, not to make sure they're legal, but to make sure that the 30 or older seems to me if you really know who your desired customer is and then you endeavor to know as much about that customer as possible and then create an environment that is going to be attractive and appealing to that customer, that's a better way to go. It it has greater specificity and it avoids having to kind of keep people out. Keeping people out of a a business establishment, I don't know. To me, that's just not a really good look. Uh, I just think specificity in terms of knowing your customer, knowing as much about your customer as possible, and then creating a retail environment. And I'm talking about, I'm talking about bars, I'm talking about restaurants, but I'm also talking about supermarkets or any kind of retail store. That's a far better way to go. As for the bars and restaurants, maybe we could just all do a better job teaching young people how to, how to drink. Anyway, that's what's on my mind. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.